Barapods. So Saucy is going to have a good anti-ground position with the Octopods and Barapods, as long as he doesn't get attacked by Sephipods or, or any other anti-air unit. While Kron is still building up her position in the middle of the map, though I'm not sure how much she is doing, I kind of look back to when she is. Okay, so back when Kron is, the area Kron is focusing on is... She's not doesn't even doing too much. She's building up a bit more economically, but she hasn't been building up a lot of units still based on what she was doing. She has, she is, however, going for an attack. So these Martanks and Octopods are going in for attack. So in case you didn't, in case you missed it, here's a bit of a review. I'm just gonna fast forward this for the review. So as you can see, Trillion Eyes is going through. Trillion Eyes has been attacking these Teth Pulsers. Now the Martanks are coming to help attack the Teth Pulsers and Teth Fears. Once these Martanks get through, they're gonna be attacking Ipstick's base. Ipstick, however, is a stronger player here. Saucy's is rather new to the game, but he insisted on playing, so... And he's just not doing too bad in his defensive position, but he is going to have a hard time... They're, the team is going to have a hard time getting through. They were spending so much time in the present while the girls team was really focusing in the past. So we see the review here. The Octopod is coming in, the Martanx is coming in, they're taking out this depot. The depot is about half health now, and it looks like, yeah, Trillion Eyes' proxy forces here that were just hanging out are coming around to flank, and this flank is going really well. So, as we're reviewing... Looks like Ipstick is in a really bad spot. He's gone back in time, just gonna review back when he is. So he's going back in time and modifying what went on. And looks like he actually can't really modify much at this point. He's completely flanked. Quite quite an impressive attack. I mean that that forward base by Kron early on really paid off. I don't know how much I don't know how much Trillion Eyes' race switch early on actually changed things, but looks like Saucy's has gone back in time as well. He's gonna send a force to out try to outflank Girls Team Force, but I don't know how well it's gonna do. However, Trillion Eyes is, actually has some progenitor forces here, and it looks like Sussy's actually isn't attacking for some reason. I don't know exactly what he's doing. It might, it might be freezing up slightly. But it looks like, yeah, Saucy isn't paying attention. He's probably going to go back in time and force these guys to attack. I'm not sure why these guys are not attacking. They should be attacking by default, this Octo. But it looks like they are not actually doing anything to it, which is rather odd. Hopefully there isn't a bug going on, but it's very odd Saucy's units are not attacking. And it looks like... At this point, like I said, once again, the girls team has completely obliterated Ipstick, so Saucy's is on his own to try to take out the girls team. However, Kron does not have a huge fighting force at this point. She has a heavy cruiser and she has some production forces, but really Trillion Eyes is pushing most of the production, pushing most of the assault at this point. She has two pro-generation triads, one in their base, and that is a huge threat. But unfortunately Saucy's doesn't seem to be able to do anything about it, I'm not sure what's going on. Okay, now Saucy's is doing something about it. Okay, something odd went on, but it looks like Saucy's is attack moving, gonna take care of this progeneration triad, gonna completely obliterate this force, try to outflank. He can't save Ipstick, unfortunately, but he can at least go in there and deal some damage. Hopefully, for him, he'll be able to get through. He does have a pretty good production set, though. I mean, as long as he, can, he has four Pharopods and Sepipod, he's gonna hopefully be able to get through, as long as he can take care of the heavy Cruiser here and take care of the Sepipods. I'm not sure how much he can do, though. Like I said, it's two against one at this point. And Saucy's is not in the best position. This heavy cruiser is coming in. It does not have a nuke equipped, so at least it's not going to be that powerful, but it's still a powerful unit. So now Firepod's coming in, and I was totally wrecking battle, and it looks like Trillion Eyes has actually gone in the past. She's gone and chronoported her Firepod. I'm going to see. I'm just going to follow this Firepod back into the past as it chronoports, and it looks like it's going to chronoport now. So, oh, okay. For some reason it didn't send me back to when it chronoported. Okay, there we are. So the Firepod has chronoported back to the past. To help out with this assault, I'm not sure how much is going to actually help out though, there wasn't any supporting forces to really get rid of. But this one, the Farbot is helping out, so back in the past, Trillion Eyes has reinforced her attack. Come back to about 10.30 mark, and looks like... actually, perhaps we go further past. Okay, so here is the battle we just left. So the Farbot has not corner ported yet, and now Saucy's forces are attacking Trillion Eyes, this is about 10 minutes into the game. Trillion Eyes' forces are getting fairly damaged because the Pharopods here are doing a lot of the Octopods. The Octopods can't do as much. The Octos, however, are getting completely destroyed by the Octopods, but they're also distracting them quite a bit. The Octopods are not fighting the Pharopods. The Pharopods are doing ma massive, massive damage to them. So at this point, the Octopods are being completely destroyed. Very nice move by Saucy. a little too late, unfortunately, but hopefully it'll work out for him if he wants to actually win this game. At this point, though, it looks like there are just too many Octopods and Sevipods. He does have a lot of units in his base. He's really got to go and I don't know exactly what happened here. Uh, it looks like there's a bit of lag. Sorry about that. But if... Oh, shoot. It looks like Saucy's forces were obliterated. I'm just going to go back and review that because I think... Let's see. Okay, so Saucy's actually... Yes, he got obliterated. He put up a very valiant fight, though, but it looks like for some reason he did not have power pods because he had in his base four power pods. Yeah, he has 
two far pods here and a sepi pod and an octopod, and he's not building up for some reason. I'm not sure what's going on. I mean, okay, he can't build up now. This is the unplayable past. But he didn't build up when this came around the first time. And I'm just going to fast forward a bit to try to review what's going on. And it looks like here, the Trillionaz is trying to take over this area. I think she's going to set up a pod class per generation triad. And it looks like... I'm not sure what she's actually going to do. I don't know if she has a legal class yet. I'm just going to play it again because it looks like this is really wearing on my CPU. And... Okay, I'm not sure exactly what's going on. But I'm having some strange CPU problems. I'm... So I apologize for the fact that this next section is going to have a bit low frame rate. Okay, there we go. So at this point... We have Trillion Eyes is going in for a sweep, and Kron is going for a main attack with Cruiser. Cruiser is doing a fair amount of damage. Everything's doing a lot of damage, actually. So it's going to be quite difficult for Saucy to actually get out of this. I think Saucy is just really just trying to buy some time, whatever time he can for himself. Let's fast forward through this, and it looks like, yeah, Kron. So we look back at Kron's base, and she has really not much more projection than she did before. She still has just one factory, one macro fab. She does have a lot of resource processors around the map, though, and she is building quite a few units. So that should hopefully work out in her favor. Well, not hopefully. I mean, it does work out in her favor. But it seems to still look quite a bit less. Saucy's would have had a chance to actually get back a little bit just because there isn't as much production as there could have been, but for the amount of resources that she has. So at this point, it looks like the girls' team has won, and Saucy's is just trying to hold his own while he can, but at this point, I don't know what more he could do. There's really not much that's going to go for him in his favor. There's just everything's getting attacked. He's completely assaulted in his base. I mean, just Trillion Eyes' Farapod here is taking care of everything. I mean, Saucy's put up a really good fight back there, though, around the 10-30 mark, and that was very impressive, but unfortunately, he's going to have a really hard time. And if you're wondering, in case you're wondering where I'm getting these numbers, just the top right corner of the timeline, it might be hard to see if you're not watching on the 720p view, the HD, but there is a timer for the absolute time that the game has been, so the amount of time that passed since the beginning of the game. And that's where I'm going off for the amount of time. It looks like Saucy's has pretty much given up. So I think at this point, it should be GG pretty soon. Girls team won against boys team. We put up a fairly valiant fight near the end, but really spent way too much time in the present. Rather unfortunately, but... Well, that's that's how it goes. They've gone. It's a time travel game. you got to go back to the past. you got to make sure it goes on. So it looks like the girls team has won. Saucy's has disconnected. And that looks like it is a good game. At this point, the girls team is just doing some last cleanup. They're trying to set up. It looks like Saucy's hasn't actually surrendered. He's just... He's disconnected, though. So at this point, it looks like it is game. So yeah, I will be ending us off right now. So thank you for watching, and have a good night, everyone.